you. Last year, the Adirondack Road Salt Reduction Task Force laid out a plan to reduce salt usage in the Adirondack State Park to protect waterways and other delicate ecosystems in the area. And now they want to start bringing those recommendations across the state in order to achieve those goals on a bigger scale. Liam Healy has more on how the state hopes to do this. Liam. Yeah, Adam, Teresa, it's estimated from that report released last year that just in Adirondack Park alone, there are over 193,000 tons or over 386 million pounds of rolled salt used annually just in that area. The goal now is to reduce those numbers and those around the state in a joint effort between the DEC, DOH, and DOT, according to Alexander Smith, the Assistant Division Director for the DEC's Division of Water. Really, the recommendations uh, could apply and do apply really statewide. Um, you know, so they're really universal things that we can, um, that we can look to, to try and reduce the impact of, uh, of road salt, uh, rock salt usage on, on the environment, public health and maintaining safe travel though. Some of those recommendations include looking at alternatives like brining, which when applied before storms has been found to lessen the amount of salting ultimately needed. Other recommendations also focused on stricter water quality standards for chloride, of which excess amounts can cause stress on aquatic ecosystems, drinking water supplies, and even impact lake turnovers. We're, we're, we're focusing more on the management of our salt, of our salt use, um, meaning we're paying attention to our application rates, we're paying attention to post-storm reviews, we're paying attention to the impacts that our salt had on our level of service, and we're just checking that balance to make sure that the amount of salt we're putting out on the roadways is doing its job. That includes new technology being installed across the New York State DOT's fleet to closely track the amount of salt being deployed, where the trucks are, and even monitoring road temperatures to better understand the impact of each pass with salt Brine. We initiated a couple of uh, Adirondack road salt reduction pilots a couple of years ago, actually, in advance of this task force. And uh, as part of the task force report, uh, we are committed to continuing those pilots as well as we're going to add an additional pilot, which is going to be a liquids-only pilot, meaning we're not going to spread any granular material. It is important to note as well that salt is not the DOT's main focus for clearing roadways. They focus on plowing or mechanical clearing of snow and ice first, as it is with many municipal and local services too. We're funding things this year for the first time, live-edge plows that help make better contact with the, with the road and remove snow and ice. Uh, brine making equipment and development of brine storage sheds, proper salt storage uh, to be able to cover those rock salt piles. Now, there is also a public survey from the DEC working to collect data on how the public utilizes rock salt, from how they apply it to how much they use, and just to see how aware the general public is of the potential impacts. The survey is linked in this story on our website, and the results are expected to help drive new educational resources in the future. Adam, Teresa, back to you.